Hi, in this video, we will discuss about different type of research. In the last video, we already discussed about what are the different approaches in the research. There is a quantitative approach and there is a qualitative approach. In which itself, the all research in scientific research or in the, in the social science research, we can classify into different category. So, that is a different type of research. So, here first, I will give two type of research. There is a basic and applied research. So, the basic research means it is a very fundamental level of research. So, here we need to determine or establish fundamental facts and relationship within the discipline or the field of study. So, here is after the type, this type of basic type of research, we may develop a new theory or new equations in such a way. So, it is a fundamental uh, theory. So, after this, oh, we will develop a fundamental theories or the equations. Such a research is called basic type of research. Oh, so, in such, uh, there is an applied type, applied research. So, here we undertake a specifically for the purpose of obtaining information to help resolve a particular problem. We already have a, some basic knowledge in the some subject or some topic. The, this portion we need to apply somewhere in a to solve some problem. That uh, the application in that way that research we call is an applied research. The finding a solution for an immediate problem or processing the practical problem so the distinction between them, them is in the application is, is in the application we are using here in an application we already have a basic knowledge in some topic we are using that knowledge or that theory to get a new problem solution for a new problem basic as a little application to real world policy and the management but could be turned to guide applied research that is very important basic research is well applied to get a different type of uh, to guide us to get a applied risk to do a applied research so this is a one type of basic and applied research and there is another type of research is called descriptive research and analytical research and descriptive uh, research in attempt to determine or describe or identify something uh, it's intent is often synthesized which pull knowledge or information together so actually here also there is no quantitative uh, it's not a quantitative type research it's a it's describe identify or something this uh, gaining a knowledge or information together through the uh, in a descriptive manner so description of state of affairs as it exists at present as no control over variables there is no we are not going to the what is the dependent variable or independent variable can only report what has happened or what is happening here something is a not in analytical manner it is a we are not going to what is the steps and what are the question and what are the, the things variable you are just gaining an information in a descriptive manner so such way of one type of research we call we can put it as a descriptive type of research and the same way the opposite side that is a, we are to analytically solve or what are the mathematical equations behind this one and how we can uh, predict that conclusion or make a conclusion using the uh, some equations or something uh, analytical manner such a type of research is called analytical research here the attempt to establish why something occurs and or how it came to be so we need to we have a proof we should have, we have a proof why it's happened in some such a way all discipline generally engage in both is to both type of research the descriptive type and analytical any any has any discipline has as use facts or information already available analyze this to make a critical evaluation of material so in this type of research we are using and uh, facts or the information already available through the basic type of research or some other ways this is a, another uh, category this is a conceptual research and empirical research uh, conceptual research also it's something like a basic type of research is related to abstract idea or theory and to develop a new concepts or reinterpret the existing ones that is verified by empirical research 
so here is the we are empirical sorry conceptual research means we are mainly focused on that theory part or uh, it's a uh, facts what is the facts behind it or once it's after completion of this uh, empirical research you may be uh, get a new theory or new knowledge or new equation or something like conceptual research something like a basic type of research is and empirical research also that is in an, uh, and not only the facts is we have a lot of equations also uh, we have a lot of data not equation so database research so we uh, relies on the experience or observation alone and verified by observation or experiment and works to get enough facts to prove or disprove hypothesis evidence gathered by this most powerful support possible for the given hypothesis so we can uh, we have a lot of data in our hand through observation or through experiment we need to work on that one and we may get an hypo we, through the vague hypothesis we need to prove that hypothesis and after we have get a knowledge through the research so that's a usual our type of research is called empirical type of research and there is a same way our approaches there is we can uh, type research type also we can classified into quantitative research and qualitative research and the quantitative research in the name in implies that based on the measurement of quantity or amount that's of importance on the values of the experiment or what the quantity we are getting express in terms of quantity so the, the importance on the quantity itself but in the qualitative also uh, we already discussed in the uh, anal- what is um, okay concerned with the qualitative phenomena is motivation research an important type here how people feel or want they link about a particular subject or institution so uh, the student people characteristics or people's uh, attitude or what is the, they have behavior such uh, we need to uh, we have a sample of population we may be need to research on this type of quantity uh, items so you may that's come under the qualitative type of research to discover underlying motives to seek guidance and such uh, type of research is called qualitative type of research and there are different uh, type of research are there in which some are the cross sectional research cross sectional research one time research is a, is a one time research is confined to a single time period in the uh, we are not uh, continuously taking the research suppose we are doing the research now it's uh, once it's completed it's over not doing in some uh, year later or something is such a type of research is called cross sectional research there is a longitudinal research is there so longitudinal research means it's carried out over a lot of times several time period so suppose once we completed this year uh, the same time in the next year we may be do the same research on the or after 5 years you may be doing so uh, there is a periodically we are repeating such a research called longitudinal research the field setting or laboratory or simulation this is also a type of research depend upon the environment we may be field setting research or laboratory research or simulation type researches are there clinical research so case study method in the uh, health departments or health uh, for uh, um, patients or doctors using such type of research a clinical research and the diagnostic research in depth approaches to reach a basic causal relationship there is another diagnostic we have to diagnose such a uh, in within a, not not in a single period it may be take some time time so historical research would lays historical source like documentary so it's not only uh, the different some type of research will come in this type of explanation so cross section research longitudinal research field setting clinical diagnostic and there is we already this basic and applied uh, empirical and uh, analytical sorry uh, yeah uh, the name um, quantitative and qualitative uh, the, the, this are the some different type of research so please go through this one. and we are already using the the terms the methods and methodology what is meant by research method and what is meant by research methodology it's very important uh, you should understand what is meant by. the methods or techniques that used to conduction of a research so suppose we have to do a re- applied research or we may be into analytical research um, we, uh, different type of research we are uh, maybe using so to do that research we may using some 
techniques or some methods that's why the all those methods or techniques that are used to conduction of our research is called research methods the refers to the methods the researcher use in performing research operation and method used by the researcher so suppose i am a researcher i need to conduct an analytical type research so i am to use a method the first uh, method is this one as a or some techniques i am going to use i will explain the detail here. what are the techniques the different type of techniques are there or different methods are there so the techniques or methods of a researcher can using to their research is called research methods so what is mean by research methodology then the research methodology means it's not a techniques it's a systematic way of approach to their research so uh, suppose uh, yeah we will explain it a systematic way to solve the research flaw science of understanding how research is done so step 1 this one step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 suppose we we have to plan a research and we need to find a problem first and how to solve this problem so to do the, to solve this problem you may be find a different uh, what in the computer program you will write an algorithm first why we are written algorithm so once we written the algorithm we can do the programming in very easily because step by step procedure so in that way how once we have a problem how to find the solution for this problem in a systematic way so that's where the systematic way of approach to solve a research problem that's why that's what is called research methodology so science of understanding how research is done that's what is research methodology study various steps adopted by a researcher here method used by a researcher is called research methods here study various steps adopted by a researcher researcher should know the relevant method and once to complete this a step by step procedure we need to do all the methods of research sorry uh, methods of research okay i think you understood what is the terms using the methods and methodology it's very important and the third point i am to add in this topic in this video is criteria of a good research what are the how we can tell that, that research is very good and how I'll, otherwise uh, how we can uh, analyze or how can uh, mark a research whether it is a good research or not good so i will give some uh, some points here so criteria for good research we can uh, point out that first one is a purpose should be clearly defined yeah it should otherwise uh, once we do the research first uh, completing the research we cannot get any research so the purpose should be very clearly defined so the common cons to concept to be used suppose we are doing a research and the pupil there is a uh, the act facts we are use, going to use in the research is should be a common concept and the the concepts which are not at all way or, or no one is uh, accepting we, we we cannot use such a concept to do some research so common concept should be used explain procedure very clearly for continuity so i already told there is a methodology sir so that methodology should be defined or, or clearly uh, explain you can explain uh, that procedure first itself result should be an object be as objective as possible yeah it should so in, in in order to start a research we should define a objectives to for the research so suppose uh, we are doing a what a simple pendulum problem suppose that's our research so that objective is we need to find the acceleration due to gravity at that place that's our objective so once after we getting the or the conclude or the steps and procedure we getting an end point 8 meter per second square so that's a result should be as, as objective as possible the report with frankness so once they complete the research we need to prepare the report the acknowledge procedural flaws limitation of the study appropriate statistical test of significance this all should be included in the research report we need to acknowledge those who are helped into do the research we should do that one it is very important and uh, all things 
uh, i will explain there is a second uh, and next chapter itself how to write a good report research report so we can and reliable outcome measures it should uh, also is a criteria of a good research when we get a outcomes after the review it should be reliable and it can justify the conclusion with the data we once we do the data is complete uh, what once we do the research we do have enough data and we have a conclusion so that should be uh, justified limitation of data we need to the data primary data or secondary data the data collection should be uh, we need to explain what is the limitation of data and experienced researcher that's also criteria of a good researcher and systematic and logical so these are the some facts some points uh, how to uh, how we can make uh, we can tell the a research should be good or not or a, how we can tell whether it is a good research or not research should be good. some criteria are the these are the some criteria so for time being i am stopping here and we'll discuss in the next lecture on the different methods of research so i hope you understood so please go through the some textbook like uh, research methodology by kothari and you please no, make a notes on this all and you can get in a good idea so this uh, videos are some simple an uh, outline only so please go through thank you thank you